devotion for Wednesday, March 9, 2022. In the Moravian daily text, the watchword for today says, the fear of the Lord is hatred of evil. And that is found in Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 13. The accompanying doctrinal text taken from Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10 reads, We are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works. In this Lenten season, let us hear what God would say to us through today's watchword. To fear the Lord is hating sin. It is also a desire to please him and hate what he hates. The dictionary says, fear can be a painful emotion of an impending danger, or it could be a holy awe and reverence for God and his laws. Brothers and sisters, we know from reading scripture that God is always speaking with Moses and giving him instructions to convey to the children of Israel as he led them through the wilderness. In Deuteronomy 6, verses 1 to 5, we see Moses teaching the Israelites how they should love the Lord their God. And reading from the New Living Translation, verse 2 reads, you and your children and grandchildren must fear the Lord your God as long as you live. If you obey all his decrees and commands, you will enjoy a long life. And we see Moses still teaching in verse 5, and it reads, And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Friends, we cannot love God rightly until we fear him, because that is his command to us. The Bible in Psalm 34 says, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. Here we find that he is really talking about his very own presence that will guard and guide us. If we fear God and hate sin, we will have that wall of protection, not just for a season, but for always. There's another verse that says, Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him will lack nothing. You see, our God's promise is to always provide all that we need, not necessarily what we want. If we fear the Lord, he will help us to be victorious over sin, as the doctrinal text states in Ephesians 2 and 24. And I read it again. We are what he made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works. The question then is, are we doing good work? Are you and I letting our light shine so others may see more of God and less of us in our conduct? Do we turn the other cheek when necessary? And what about our speech? Is it saying, I am a child of God? And is our lifestyle honoring God as we live out our faith? The question is yours. The question is mine. And as a pastor once said, it is necessary for us to critique ourselves at times. And so we can critique ourselves and answer the question. Friends, to love God is to love wisdom. And if it is so, we'll want to live for him and his truth by seeking him early and earnestly above all else. Because love for God and love for sin will not and cannot coexist. So let us fear God and keep his commandments because for this we were created. Let us honor and praise him. 
for he is worthy. Let us pray. Our dear Lord and Savior, in this Lenten season, may we remember why and for whom you came, suffered and died. It was for us unworthy sinners you came, Lord. And so, gracious Father, through your love and leading, empower and enable us to reflect on the sacrifice you have made for us on that old rugged cross of Calvary. We pray with thankful hearts, O Lord, for the gift of your one and only Son, so we could have eternal life. We thank you, Lord, for such unconditional love. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.